Alright, what's up guys? Brother Shield here. Today we're gonna play um Ratchet and Clank, um the first one. Now, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not really holding out much hope for this game. Um run at full speed because um just like Ratchet Deadlocked, I didn't get um the best performance and to make things worse. I even tried um Ratchet and Clank even on the PCSX2 and I was still having issues unless I was using the build version. So yeah, hopefully we should be able to get some um gameplay so um i'm not sure how this is gonna run and uh yeah we're again 40 or at least 30 frames per second so yeah this is the first ratchet and clank so yeah without further ado let's get to it i'm gonna war here's war okay right nice <laughs> i'm still getting the pcsx2 effect here the only difference is the frame rate is a bit lower on this one so yep, let's see how this game performs. Oh no, no, not load the game. Sorry, my bad, my bad. I accidentally pressed load game. Force of habit, because I was testing, I was testing this game constantly, and basically, um, I have to use a build version of um, uh, format. No. Ooh, so slow. Okay, actually, you know what? Format it. Again, I'm not really worried about save files. So as I was saying, I did um, try to play this on the PCSX2. Uh, my computer is definitely more than powerful enough. But again, we we're having issues. So I had to basically use a build version. And this was the latest, I think, version 1.4. I'm not entirely sure off by heart. But let me minimize this. Uh, version 1.40. Yep, yeah, that was like the latest version. So I had to use like the 1.5 or at least a build version of it. So not the like official release version. Couldn't use that version. So when I tried to use it, it did run and did get somewhat decent frame rates, but long story short, there was still a lot of glitches, even on the PCSX2. Uh, and my computer's, well, I won't say it's the best, but at least it should be more than capable to run this game. But anyway, yeah, without further ado, let's just try and um, continue. Let's just try and play this game. So let's see how the intro plays out. Okay, we're getting 30 frames per second. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, I already have a copy of the original game. So I'm pretty sure if I, a lot of you guys have pretty much seen this, but... Actually, let me just leave it to play. Just see if, there, if there's any speed up. Attack robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. How much voice acting compared to the reboot? Okay, there's less glitches at least, but uh, yeah, the frame rate is a lot slower compared to the PCFX2 at least. <laughs> but it is to be expected. Well, it's not bad though. 
Oh, the robot changed. Huh. Ooh, paid attention to that. Oh boy, don't lag on me. Don't crash on me. It does this sometimes. Don't worry about it, guys. Maybe I should just skip the cutscene because a lot of you guys have pretty much seen it, seen what happened. So this was just that was just a quick test to see if it will speed up. Okay. Oh, the exact same thing happened with the PCSX as well. <laughs> that green ratchet. Oh, but that is definitely new. That's definitely a bug. That is definitely a demon bug. Demon bug. Actually, let's skip a lot of glitches. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're getting um. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Okay, we're getting close to we're getting close to 40 actually. That's not bad really. Um, but it was when we go open, that's when it starts to slow down. Yeah, same with the PCSX. But there's a lot of glitches though. The audio seems to be working fine so far. So um, there's a lot of bugs. So um, I don't think I'll be able to complete the first part. So I'm just gonna play a quick. Uh, I'm just gonna play around for a bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully see what speeds up and what doesn't. get a massive slowdown. Okay, damn, this glitch is really bothersome. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly the same as well. Okay, so this glitch is very bothersome. Damn. So, uh, the good news is that we can go in-game, we can watch some of the cutscenes. However, there's still a lot of glitches, and uh, it's the same, well, not exactly the same, but um, there are some similar things that happen with this emulator, with also the PCSX2 as well. When I was testing these games out. So, um, anyways, guys, I'm gonna pretty much end the video here. This was just a quick test to see um how the game would run, just in the just in the first part. But it's not bad actually. I mean, although a similar effect happens when you go inside um the warehouse, I think um basically the game speeds up. Although um there there is bugs and there is a lot of um glitches. Um, same thing with the PCX2, but not to that extent, or not to the extent that we saw in this game or in this emulator. So, anyways, guys, um. Yeah, let me know what you think about Ratchet and Clank um, running this time. In the last in the last few videos that I did, I did Ratchet Deadlocked. Uh, we couldn't get in game, but it, with this Ratchet and Clank, the original one, we could get in game. So, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe to Brother Shield. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.